We are in the Goodwill outlet and nobody else is here. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Today's thrift with me is very exciting because we are at the Goodwill outlet, but Carrie and I are actually being let in 30 minutes before it actually opens, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, honestly, in the grand scheme of things of like the Goodwill outlet. But you know what? I feel like 30 minutes is quite a big deal, especially because the Goodwill outlet, I mean, it is crazy. It is chaotic. I'm just honestly excited to show more of the actual like atmosphere and what it looks like because obviously there's usually customers in there and i don't want to you know get their faces in the video so there won't be anyone in there and i have no expectations of like what i'm looking for i'm honestly just excited for the experience if you don't know what the goodwill outlet is it's a bunch of bins you rummage through them it usually charges like one to two dollars a pound i need to head in so let's go into the goodwill outlet All right, so we are in. I'm gonna do my best when it comes to audio-wise, but now I'm just gonna like rummage through. We have 30 minutes to go to try to find the best stuff. This is actually in really good condition. This like white sheer button-up, it's a maybe. These guest jeans, I don't know what size they are. They're 13, I don't think they're my size, but look at how absolutely beautiful they are. I mean, when it comes to the Goodwill outlet, you really can't have a plan. You just kind of have to go through everything and just kind of hope for the best. Why is it that I want these like Fruit of the Loom pajama bottoms? They look so comfy. Honestly, I feel like the Goodwill outlet is a perfect place to get basics because it's gonna be so cheap. I was trying to explain to John yesterday what bloke core is. I forgot how it came up, but this jersey just made me think about it. I realize I haven't necessarily shown Carrie here, but she's over there. We decided to tackle uh, from two different sides. We joked that the only people we would be fighting would technically be each other. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, these are actually really, why do I keep finding pajama bottoms? Like, why am I so into pajama bottoms right now? They're a little short on me, so I'll say no. Oh. These are my favorite type of jeans. I'm wearing them right now. They're from Rocky Mountain. I forgot where I got these. I think at the Long Beach Antique Market. And I just found some Rocky Mountain jeans. Oh, I don't know what size they are. I'll probably just measure them a little bit later. This is so cute. It's from Chico's. It is leather. Hold on to it. stocking christmas Chris honestly christmas they, stuff. they always have christmas stuff oh yeah and it always kills me because i'm like i want it all those are cute those are so cute that is so cute i'll hold on to them oh they just always have such pretty levi's but they're just oh i am oh, a <laughs> i was gonna say they're never in my oh they look whoa I've talked so much hate on 501s though. Those are so I don't know. cute. I'll hold on to them. That's the um, yeah. tag of the entire video. Just I'll hold, just on, hold to on to them. them. Um, <gasps> cute. Oh, ooh, cute. That is so cute. Fun. I saw like I'm pretty sure a real fur coat over there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a nice sweater vest. I already have a black sweater vest, so like I'm that good. Is so cute. Isn't that so cute. Oof, I really like the details of this top. It is kind of like just stained a little bit, but love that. Don't think it's my size though. It says it's a medium, but I don't know. It kind of looks like a large. I'll hold on to it. See, this is a medium as well, but I feel like that doesn't look like a medium. I don't know. Oh, is this a skirt? It's in a large. I did find some Disney, technically. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I have no 
reason to own it, but it's this like Hannah Montana style scarf. Like so, so fun. Little Brandy Melville dress. I feel like these bins always end up getting taken first. So I just wanna see. Been magical it has been amazing to have this entire store I don't even know the audio is gonna be good honestly yeah I mean, <laughs> we might just do a voiceover for the whole thing but, but this it's has truly been magical they're about to open the door so we're gonna switch on over to the plus nice quality from my phone even though we had been there early I feel like we only really tackled like 25% of the store because my gosh I, we were still finding cute stuff other people were finding insane stuff like Honestly, I think Carrie and I are not that good at the thrifting for the Goodwill outlet because the things that people picked up, we were like, where where did you find that? We were here early and we did not even see that. This Betty Boop towel was super cute. I really want a Betty Boop t-shirt. The towel, I just like probably wouldn't wear. At one point, we ended up just staying at the end of one of the bins because people were going through their cart and just putting their go backs right there. And there were a lot of good pieces, again, of like, where, where did you even find that? The Prada top, we weren't sure if it was real or not. Some other fun stuff. I had found this really cute dress. It, I'm not sure what size it was. I think it would have been a little bit too big, but I do end up showing it again, but it had these stains and I was like, maybe I could dye it black. I don't know, I, I, I had a vision. Then I just wanted to point out this leather jacket someone found in the bins. I have no idea how or where it was, but again, just to show you, there's still just like so much stuff. Now it is time to show what is in my cart first is this house coat i'm pretty sure it's called carrie had found it i loved the color but i just i wasn't absolutely in love with it so i ended up putting it back then is that lace dress i was talking about i was very conflicted with this because like i said i had a vision and i feel like it had potential it just wasn't my size so just because of that if i bought it and then it wasn't even my size like and then having to dye it because it's saying yeah all of that so i decided to leave it this top oh my goodness one of the people the ones that were going through their carts and putting stuff back they had put this back and i was like you're kidding you you're kidding me. I need this in my life. This little bodysuit, Hello Kitty bodysuit, I just thought it was really cute. There's a lot of pieces in there that I'm like, I'm not sure if exactly I was going to get, but I just really wanted to show it just because they were cute pieces. Carrie had found this really nice, well-made champion sweatshirt. I think it was like a small, I like, I thought it was cute, but I wasn't absolutely in love with it. So I ended up saying no. This top, like kind kind of amazing this crop top i mainly got it to wear to work out if i'm gonna be honest but i think in the summer it's gonna be great as just like a you know loose crop top i found this star wars lawn sleeve and it just looked really cozy and like I don't know. I was really conflicted. I decided to put it back because I just, I wasn't absolutely in love with it. I saw this in the corner of my eye in one of the bins as I was going through my car and it was this USA like Olympic zip up fuzzy jacket. It was pretty amazing. Um, but I just felt like I wouldn't get enough wear out of it. So I ended up putting it back. This was another piece that Carrie had picked out. It is originally from Urban Outfitters. I just felt like the colors weren't really my colors, but definitely saw a lot of Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville as well. Carrie was honestly really coming through for me. She also found this American apparel, like I think original like 2010s American apparel pleated tennis skirt. 
it was amazing. It what it did have a stain on it, but I feel like you could get it out. The quality was really nice. I've already talked about. I don't. I'm not absolutely in love with pleated skirts. I feel like they're a little bit too preppy for me, so I ended up putting it back. These were the Rocky Mountain jeans. I brought my measuring tape, so I measured the waist, the rise, also the inseam. Look at how beautiful that butt is. Like I'm showing you now my butt so you can see the butt of like that they are the not exact same pair of jeans. Anyway, I measured it and it seemed like it was gonna be a perfect fit. So I was just kind of hoping that it actually would be because sometimes you measure it and I don't know, maybe you do it wrong or you know, different things can happen. Um, but I was just trusting that I had measured it correctly. There's always loads of crewnecks at the, I feel like I'm really hyping up the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> Um, this video is not sponsored by the way by Goodwill. Literally, they only just like let us in early and that was it. This video is not sponsored, anything like that. Um, but they do usually have like a good amount of crewnecks and hoodies. And I feel like it's kind of a great price just with like pricing and like the weight of it. I ended up not getting it because it had a bunch of stains. This Picasso t-shirt I thought was fun. Super boring are these champion like just shorts. Um, I just really wanted them. It's summertime. I've been really into like plaid boxer shorts. I don't know, just shorts that are comfy, especially around the house. I don't know, sometimes wearing like denim shorts. It's just not that comfy. I want something that's loose. So I ended up measuring these and they seemed like they would fit. So I did end up purchasing them. I really loved the pattern of this skirt. It was super, super see-through and I wasn't super into the way that it would kind of like fit on my body. So I ended up leaving it. Another piece Carrie had found and was like, I don't, the, is this your size? Like, would you like them? Um, are these black jeans originally from Anchor Blue? Alas, I measured them and they were not my measurements. So I ended up putting them back. This one I'm really, really sad about because I really want a leather vest, like something like that. It's from Wilson's Leather Company, but the back is not leather and that's that's fine. But I am specifically like maybe if it was suede or, or something different, but I'm specifically looking for a full leather one. And I was just so like heartbroken that this one was not that. I said it multiple times. I was really into pajamas at the Goodwill outlet. And the, I mean, come on, look at how cute that is. Little clouds. It wasn't a large, so it didn't fit me. And they would have been like cropped and kind of like, yeah. But very cute, love the pattern. This Nike skirt was so freaking cute. And I'm also really sad that it was not my size. So I ended up putting it back, but look, look how fun that is. Even though we're uh, going into summer, I did find some sweaters. This one, there was just something about it that my, like I was just gravitated towards and I had just like an idea of an outfit and it was a really nice material. Another sweater is this blue cardigan. Again, the material was actually really nice and it was just so breathtaking. Like, look at how adorable that is. I was testing it on um, my arm to feel the material. I was super conflicted with this top because I'm pretty sure it's a kid's top. Um, it, yeah, it's it's ketchup. Um, and it's it's a risky one. For me, usually like kids clothing tops, like I know a lot of people go to the thrift store for like, it's kind of like a baby tee and then it's literally like just an infant top. Um, but this one, it was a small kids, but it didn't seem that small. The only thing is just the head hole that I'm a little bit scared about. This sweater, oh, I mean, look at that pattern. That is a beautiful, gorgeous sweater, but the most uncomfortable like texture in the entire world. It felt so terrible. These pajama bottoms were not in my size, but I really liked the pattern and the color. I just felt like they were super precious. I'm still so surprised that I technically found Levi's in a size 26. It even had the tag that said that they were originally $69. When we were actually going to the Goodwill outlet from like the corporate section at the Goodwill, like the person was taking us into where the bins are. There was an entire like palette almost of just Levi's jeans. So I don't know if they had like a partnership with Levi's where they sent a bunch of like overflow inventory or what, but they had a lot of Levi's at this particular location with tags as well. This one, I did measure everything. Um, You, you can wait for how they end up 
actually turning out. This crew neck was just so cool. Look at how cool and funky it is. Apparently that means rooster in French and it just had a really cool vintage feel. I wasn't sure what size it was, so yeah, I'm not sure what it actually fits like this top. I'm just so sad about, cause look at how beautiful, especially with having the little like jewels on it. It was in really good condition, but yeah, it just, it would not have fit me. Then also this top, same thing. So adorable. These jeans were a really nice material. They seem to be high rise. I wasn't sure the brand, but yeah, they were really nice. I wasn't absolutely in love with them. So I ended up just putting them back. This Disney top was cute, but it, again, it just, I wasn't absolutely in love with it. I think this was the first thing that I had picked up when going in today and it seemed to still be in like really good condition. I even asked Carrie, like, what do you think about in the summertime, like wearing it unbuttoned, would that be cute? And she was definitely on board. So I did decide to get it. The plaid pajama bottoms. I ended up not getting any pajama bottoms. Isn't that very sad? I was so excited, but the waist was it was just too small. So I ended up leaving it. The suede jacket, when I originally picked it up, I was kind of like, oh yeah, you know, it's nice. I, I, I'm not exactly sure like if it's me, but then I, it was just kind of like marinating and I, I, I needed to try it on. I usually don't like try on the clothing necessarily at the Goodwill outlet. I like to, you know, kind of disinfect it or like clean it, but I needed to try it on so I could make the decision. And after I tried it on, Carrie and I were like, yeah, uh, it's really, it's really, really cute. Um, I think, uh, I think, I think we did pretty good. I mean, under ten dollars. Insane. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> It is the next day. I have washed everything, and oh my god, you you are not even ready to see all of these pieces. This is 100% my best Goodwill outlet haul ever. Altogether, it was 10 pounds, so I paid 29 dollars, and I think like. 95 cents or something like that, which I think I have like over 10 pieces. So that's really good. The first piece that I got is the Heinz tomato um, ketchup top. And I have tried it on surprisingly, ow, I just hit my necklace. Ow. Surprisingly, it fits me really nice. Like it doesn't feel like a child's top the only thing is the neck hole um it is it is a little bit tight so i will have to slightly stretch it out but other than that it fits me amazing and i will say i do like ketchup out of all the condiments i think it's the only one that i like i hate mayo i hate mustard i hate thousand island i hate basically everything but ketchup so i felt like it you know it made sense for me personally. I weirdly see this with my like tiered white maxi skirt. I, I, it just, it just seems like so fun. I've also been very into red. So I feel like this is perfect with what I have been saying is my like summer thrift wish list. I am so happy I ended up getting this top. It's originally from Shapely and it is the sheer button up. It just looks like such a dream for summertime. I'm already envisioning it with like a tube top or a tang top. I mean, really anything I can put it with. It's made with just such a nice breathable fabric. I also love the details on the front of it. Like look how cool that is. It's nice in that, yes, it's just a white button up, but it has a little, you know, a little spice in there with that. <laughs> and it didn't have, any like stains or anything, which I feel like specifically at the Goodwill outlet is very rare to find a white piece that doesn't have a stain on it. Like I said, this top I mainly got to wear when I like work out, but also I just feel like it is gonna be a really nice summer piece to throw on. I love red and pink, like what a gorgeous little combo. I feel like this one's a little bit hard in that it's just kind of a t-shirt and I just kind of liked what was on the t-shirt. This piece is just so cute. Maybe not perfect for summertime, like I had said with finding sweaters while I was thrifting, but this was just such a beautiful one that I 
could not pass it up. And it is originally from Land's End. And it's just made with a really nice, not thick, but not necessarily thin like cardigan material. I definitely think it'll be amazing for springtime next year. I'm still gonna, you know, figure out a way to wear it now um, during the summer, but I think fall, winter, and springtime is when it is going to shine. It just seems like such an easy piece to just kind of throw on. I still cannot believe that someone put this back in the racks, this Highway Cafe long sleeve like come on that is so cute with the little like jewels i am i am obsessed with this uh i think that's like the like awesome thing about thrifting is there's just so many different styles so many different pieces that maybe something that you find is ugly is like a gem to somebody else and like vice versa because when they like threw it back i was like mm. the next sweater i got is this stripe blue one. It is originally from Cherokee and I love that it is, not that it's super see-through, but it just seems very breathable, see-through type of sweater where like possibly spring, summer, maybe a summer night when it's not too hot. I don't know. Like I feel like potentially could make it work. I just thought it was really unique and cute and fun and I don't own anything like it. Even though I did find, you know, some gems. Of course there is a fail and I should have known. Like I should have known. I, I already knew. I have tried Levi's jeans multiple times, but I was like, maybe this one will be different even though they're 501s and I've tried 501s before, but I haven't tried Levi's 501s since 2018. So I thought, you know, maybe, maybe it's different. Maybe my body has changed. And so I thrifted the Levi's 501s with the original like tag on there that says that they were $69 and they're too small. Um, they, they're too small, even though I measured them because they are a rise of 10 inches, which for me, the type of jeans I like to wear are at least a minimum of 11.5 to 12.5 rise. And so these ones are more mid rise. And I feel like when it comes to the different rises in jeans or pants or honestly anything, you really then have to pay attention to the other measurements because where it hits isn't on my waist, it's more on like my hips. So a 26 isn't what my hips are. They're bigger than my waist. It's a fail and I should, I, I should have known, I knew and I should have listened to my butt, my butt. Oh, why did I just say I should have listened to my butt? I mean, honestly, my butt also does not work in the jeans as well. I should have listened to my gut. So I will be putting these on my Poshmark. This crew neck was one of those pieces where when I got back home, I was like, I, this may have been a regret. Like it's a cool crew neck, but I, I just don't know with the fit especially. And I tried it on this morning. I'm in love with it. I'm so happy I thrifted it. It is this one that is originally from, I am going to pronounce it incorrectly. So let's just not make a fool out of myself, which I mean, I actually learned French in kindergarten and first grade and even did like plays in French, but I can't speak it anymore. Le cook. Le cook. Le cook. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say like hawk, you know, you know, um, so we'll just, when I put this on, I just like fell in love with it. It just has that very vintage feel. The sizing wise is perfect. I didn't know if it was going to be too loose or too small, but it is the perfect middle. It fits me amazing. I just love also the inside. It's that, you know, worn in crew neck, vintage crew neck. There are a couple of stains on it, like a couple of, I don't know if you'll be able to see. They're really small, at least when it's not super noticeable or something like that. Or with this, I feel like it does kind of go with it because it is that worn in kind of vintage feel already. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I am so happy I thrifted this because it's just, it's just amazing. It is the t-shirt that says anything you can do i can do bleeding do i even have to say anything more i also have pinned a lot of tops similar i mean not with this necessarily saying but kind of just with this font and text on my pinterest and so 
I just feel like it's such a gem. I am truly shocked about this jacket because I really didn't think anything of it when I first found it, but it just like fits me so well. On camera, it looks really, really blue. It is not that blue. In person, it is kind of like a deep turquoise blue. So it has a little bit more like of a green tint. It's from Chico's, it says it's a size three, but it kind of fits me a little, a, a little bit more like a medium. And I'm just really, I'm really shocked at how much I love it. I don't own any suede jackets. I think I own one suede vest and that is it. Usually suede for me personally, isn't my favorite material but there's just something about this. And it's so, maybe it's because it's quite worn, not super worn in that it really doesn't have any imperfections on it, but it's worn in a way where it's not stiff. If you know what I mean, like stiff suede, mm, I did in fact leave the best piece for last. I mean, all of these are like the best, but this one, I think I'm so excited about it because I thrifted jeans. I mean, I know I technically thrifted Levi's, but I thrifted jeans that actually fit me. These are originally from Rocky Mountain. As I already said, that was literally the jeans I was wearing. And just like the detailing on it, it's beautiful. When I put it on my body, I was like, how did, how did this happen? These are amazing. The last time I thrifted jeans at the Goodwill outlet was three years ago. They were my anchor blue jeans and they're one of my favorite pairs. They do have a lot of jeans at the Goodwill outlet, I will say, and in varying sizes. But of course, just like with normal thrifting, like finding your exact size sometimes can just be, you know, so rare. They're really comfy too. They are straight leg, but they're slightly like looser straight leg in the legs. The other Rocky Mountain jeans I have are a little bit more fitted. Whereas yeah, these are just slightly like comfy loose. And I mean, they're just so cute. I'm so, oh, I mean, that's insane. That is that is insane. How many pieces did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got these jeans roughly for three dollars. I just finished filming and I realized I forgot a piece. So technically I got 12 items. The last piece was just the champion black shorts. I mean, there's really, there's really nothing to it. It's not, it's not that exciting. But that means that I got those jeans for like $2.50. Amazing. I am truly shocked at the pieces that I picked up. Let me know in the comments down below which item is your favorite. I really don't know. I love them all. Make sure to check out Carrie's video and what she ended up picking up. Yeah, if you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.